almost everybody in the NFL is still connected to this season until further notice. If you told me today the Falcons end up at 6-10, and 10, I'd say, mm, okay, that makes sense. If you told me they end up at 11-5 and five and in the Super Bowl, I'd say, mm, okay, that makes sense. Unlike in basketball, where we go into the season knowing here are the top five teams, and there's really only two or three that can win an NBA final. And we really have a pretty good sense of things, even before they take the floor, let alone a month in. Unlike baseball, where you kind of know here are the teams that can win the World Series, there might be a few surprises here. In football, in the NFL, how can you not watch every week? And how can I come here on a Monday and say this team's really good or this team's really bad? Eh. This is the genius. This is the brilliance. It's also very much unlike any other era, I believe, in NFL history. If you went back to the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, even the 90s, you'd be able to identify within the first month these are the power team. These are the Super Bowl contenders. Today, I mean, yeah, the Rams look really good. They look really good. But if the Rams were one and done in the playoffs, and we ended up with... a Jaguars Saints Super Bowl? That wouldn't be crazy. There's this never-ending pendulum swing, these undulations of the waves, the ebbs of the flows, and you just go, what am I supposed to do except react to what I just saw? And you know, me, I try not to be prisoner of the moment, but in the NFL, I don't really know if there's any other way to gauge what is going on. A team looks really good one week, and then the next week they look like dog food. And that's just the way it's going to be. And that just is the way the NFL is built.